life on the Lake of the Ozarks. It's the American dream. I thought it would be cool to show you your own island. An <laughs> island. <laughs> and that's it. We're right smack in the middle of Kansas City, St. Louis, close to Chicago. We have 1,200 miles of shoreline. Bigger than the whole coast of California. I just don't think people realize that we have a Midwest coast. It's all about the docks. Swimming docks versus boat docks. They take lake life serious here. When you cross over the bridge, check your suit, take your tie off. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. Lake of the Ozarks is crazy. We have wholesome. I would learn to cook in here. Oh, you would learn to cook? So. 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 <laughs> yeah. And we have hedonism. Top priorities, hot tub, because my wife looks really good naked. <laughs> <laughs> There are some things maybe I'm just not old enough to hear about yet. <laughs> In Lake of the Ozarks, the market has exploded. There was over a billion dollars in sales last year. <laughs> There's a lot of competition here at Lake of the Ozarks. We have to stand out. This is going to be your biggest challenge. One little mistake and my reputation could be ruined. It's not uncommon to go into a property and have multiple offers and compete against four or five agents. You got some legends, and they don't like rookies. We either have to make you unique or make you go away. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the hustle. What it comes down to is what type of hustler are you? You don't have to be a multimillionaire to have a house at the Lake of the Ozarks. You have all these beautiful million dollar homes, but we also have $100,000 properties. So you really get it all. People can't believe the price per square foot that they're able to get for a lakefront home. And you mean I get my own dock down there? This is freaking sweet. We used to say that the Lake of the Ozarks was the country's greatest kept secret. Now the secret is out. We rule the world! Woo! Creek is in between Camdenton and Osage Beach. A lot of families are heading towards Lynn Creek, getting a little bit farther from all the action. It's definitely the calmer part of the lake, but still close to all the restaurants, golfing, and water bars. Honey, I'm home. Hey. How are Peggy. you? Do I get both of you for? Uh, What's up, Buttercup? Well, it's kind of a package deal here. Oh so, my God! Which see that? Who do I get? Me first. No, I know. There was a tough decision. Oh my God! Look at this view. Isn't it gorgeous? It this really is. is. Beautiful home. It's a nice house. Tell her about the. Oh, we got the the room over the garage. Uh -huh. We call it a frog. A frog. Go ahead. Family room over garage. I think that's a bunch mm -hmm. of baloney, but okay, I'm gonna frog it. So I'm gonna yeah. use your term. So we got a frog upstairs, and that's a family room over, right it's simple. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can you know, use it as a bedroom, you can use it as an additional family room upstairs. There is a full bath up there. So if people have lots of kids, they wanna send them up there to play games and get Maybe watch movies. Maybe frog it? Yeah, yeah, just go up to the frog. Let's get froggy, mm -hmm. right? The owner is asking for 1.8 million for the property. Okay. That price includes the dock as well. That's a massive dock. It's a great dock, it is. wonderful dock. Oh my gosh, so let me tell you about the boat docks at the lake. Some of the people's boat docks cost more than my house. You have bars, you have your 70 inch screen TVs. People spend hundreds of thousand dollars on their boat docks before they even buy a boat. So you've got the run of the place? And I'll just shut it up, lock it up. Perfect. Yeah, just and hopefully when you're call done. you with a contract? Yes. Absolutely. That's the only Please. that's what we want to hear from you. Thanks, Peggy. I'm gonna sell my first frog. <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. Who even knew? Yep. Blessings, you guys. Thank you, Peggy. I have luxury clients coming in from Kansas City, and I truly don't want to be a fake. There's never a good time to to tell somebody. We gotta tell the story. All right. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Everybody asked me, oh, how long have you been in sales? And at that point, you can make something up or you can be honest. I went to college for business management and I chose the wrong business. 